Good day everyone and welcome. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly believe to stay on a SIM as long as needed before you start using a real money. Uh, we will be covering three different types of an auto trade. In your package there is around 10 uh, different automated uh, trades. But normally we cover only three uh, at a time. And uh, today I want to uh, go through the I want to go through the the signal and uh, there is uh, if we look at the market analyzer this kind of auto trade does not require any optimization or anything uh, the the entry is calculated the target every time is calculated as you see right now uh, the ES uh, had an entry at 43.40 uh, target 43.29 and then if you want to you can extend the target uh, or if you wanna you you can leave it on the where the auto trade calculated you need to exit the trading stop is based on FIBS it's not the dummy trading stop and as we see right now we have exceeded where the auto traded uh, automated trade has expected you need to exit Every single trade is a different takes, a number of takes, every entry is a, depends on the market movement and then it can calculate for you the entry and the exit. As we see here right now on the last entry signal, we have based on one contract, one contract on the, on the ES, there is two contract, $1,000. On the market analyzer, one minute there is one contract. On the Nasdaq here, there is one thousand dollar. On the, uh, the market analyzer, there is only five hundred because it's based on one contract. Do we need to trade all of them? No, you can trade ES, Nasdaq, and Dow Jones only. You can trade ES only. You can trade ES, Nasdaq, Dow Jones, and CL. Uh, depends what kind of money you have or what kind of risk you want to take in the market. On the last entries, uh, we have a total of 300 takes based on the last entry signal and based on one contract. And this is the left upper corner, the market analyzer is based on one minute as you see here. Uh, the YM is 600 because we have two contract uh, there is uh, 1,200. So uh, this is uh, one minute and uh, automated swing trading is uh, on one minute. On the right upper corner, this is the scalper. On the scalper, we are using uh, the 15 second chart. We have many auto trades scalping. We don't have only one scalping system. Uh, we have maybe around four or five scalping systems. and. Uh, this is one of the scalper but we have a scalper b scalper c scalper and uh, we have a normal scalper it's not a scalper and um, so there is many scalping in your package and as you see here the cl is 190 this is two contract 360. On the, on the 15 second is a really lovely chart because if the market not moving and the uh, individual trader, he don't have the extra experience to identify if the market trending or not, it will be an idea for the uh, inexperienced trader to use the 15 second and then we have to train him how to go between the fib lines as you notice here. Uh, the target is right on the fib line and we're not expecting that much over the fib line if you want to see the ES it was right on the fib line this is where the the system estimated the target is if the market if you have it like what uh, the auto trade uh, calculated also the auto trade is very smart if the market is trending as you see right now uh, what it does extend the target automatically we are the only firm we have figured out a way if this market trending is unlike this kind of auto trade which most of you are 
using this kind of auto trade where uh, you set your target and your trailing stop automatically and this is it the, the the target here does not move on those kind of auto trading on this kind of auto trade is expand if you notice how if the market is trending it's going to extend the target by itself and if the market the trend start dying out then it goes back to the original numbers and that it is a very clever how we uh, done that so in a way it act like a human when uh, like when you are in a trade and the market going to your favor and you just want to extend your target and this is exactly how it does it it's like a human so uh, this is really um, but also you need to learn how to to deal between the fib lines also what we have done we have added some signal in there independent signal as you see here this is a this kind of auto trade maybe a trader wanted to interfere with a trade and he needs help with entries and target if you notice here there is a long trade signal this is totally independent from that auto trade system and it's telling you if you want it to go because it just hit the fib line if you want to go long here and take a manual trade you can do that if you if you want to do that or you probably finish trading and you saw that signal and you want to interfere with it that, that will be uh, also a great idea especially right now in the summer where August months is gonna be no performance everybody is on a holiday a lot of people they've been um, jammed uh, for the last two years because of the corona and all this so now they're getting this vaccine and now they want to have a little wings on on their back so uh, this is another uh, signal here it says sell entry which indicate if you wanted to also let's say if you are taking a long trade and when you see the sell entry then you can override the auto trade or you can close position from the long or if you want to you can or make put a new order uh, sell position so there is uh, a lot of help when you are looking uh, at the 15 second uh, even if let's say you are looking on the one minute and uh, and uh, you got your target and um, so you can combine this chart to see uh, the early signal and then uh, you can uh, maybe uh, if always always a, 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 a trader have a little minus somewhere we all have minus in the trading could be stubbornness uh, like me uh, could be aggressive trader uh, could be uh, lack of knowledge it could be uh, uh, guys cannot stop trading some guys they are they're scared to pull the trigger all this what you we do we can we can find a solution to cover this partial of handicap we have so let's say if we are trading the one minute es and it's going to your favor and uh, and uh, you need some kind of uh, some kind of uh, indication when and it is going to your favor the system is saying exit here but uh, you know we all greedy we like to get a little bit more maybe we can push it all the way to the 4324 your best option is also to keep your eye uh, on the 15 seconds because the 15 seconds is gonna give you an early warning if this market uh, is going to uh, uh, turn around then you will have an early prediction uh, that this market is about to turn around and if you want to close your position you can close your position another things also what we have added to this kind of auto trade uh, the trailing stop is based on fib lines and 
here let's say if you will want to we can extend it so if there is a pullback as you see the trend stops is separate from each other this one here is uh, is a minor uh, uh, fib line uh, florin fib and this one here is a major uh, florin fibs so uh, if let's say you want to secure some of your profit here and you can take your both of uh, your you know you want to secure more profit for you and let's say if the market continue going down once those florin fibs comes to your area they are readjusted for you automatically and uh, what we will do we'll keep that and uh, we will see uh, you will see that uh, this one here is going to readjust it automatically for you and that is brilliant and then separate the trading stop one and trading stop two to the proper level and that is a really brilliant on a day like this today on the other channel we didn't have to say anything the auto trades all of them most of our trades uh, they were done by 12 o'clock all the charts made it and locked down all uh, the profit the only one we still have live um, uh, not closed yet is the Nasdaq this is the only chart we have left is not uh, closed yet and uh, and uh, but the rest they are already closed around uh, before 12 o'clock even so another uh, things also you can see there is a trend exhaust in here and it fired a signal on the trend exhaust in plus there is a reversal our reversal does not repaint this is came in when the market came into your support area and look how accurate it came into the support area the trend exhaust and fire signal in conjunction with the reversal which is telling you to exit if you want to exit because right now we start getting fatigue in the trade in the trend and uh, maybe it's going to drop to the 34 uh, 5 7 8 or maybe it's going to start going back to your trailing stop so uh, on this kind of uh, trading you don't need to figure out anything what you really need is to uh, follow what the chart is telling you and as we see it's the same thing on the ES there is a trend exhaustion firing the opposite direction and uh, we are coming to the FIB indicated most likely uh, we are uh, going to be done by around somewhere the first step is 43.21 the last step it will be 43.16 but anyway it is a good profitable three charts uh, even uh, today we have one beginner trader I mean very beginner and uh, he sent me uh, he was auto trading and uh, he sent me uh, his trading and he was uh, very pleased with it let me see if I still have it Uh, yesterday I was helping this guy and uh, he was uh, testing I set it up for him he's a brand new trader and I set up for him the 370 ticks yesterday I told him to test it today and he did and uh, he was very pleased about it because if you have been following us uh, we only have one one chart no rank of bar one day another day range uh, one chart called 370 on the gold and it's been extremely consistent and uh, if you started around nine o'clock you are very consistent with it so today I teach him I told him to uh, yesterday I gave him a support give him that template to test it first and he did today and uh, let me see if it is the same trade Uh, yes, I can see it. It's right there, that trade. That trade right here. Uh, yes, you can see it. So, I'm very pleased with it. 
and if we look at this chart it is done by before 12 o'clock so this is very pleasant and then he auto traded the YM and uh, the reason I put him on a high time frame because the guy is a brand new and I don't want to uh, get him in trouble with a smaller time frame so I'm keeping him on a higher time frame so he will not get in trouble uh, that's uh, one uh, type of an auto trade now we want to show a different type of an auto trade on the TI7 uh, we're gonna uh, start with the DAX and uh, today it was really look at this because the precision auto trade uh, trade with the trend and uh, the reversal as well uh, on the four minute uh, the DAX which is my favorite one uh, today nailed 4,000 but today the TI7 I'll show it to you made over 10,000 and this is another DAX 410 takes and then you can see how it reverse and trading with the trend and one reverse and it was done 4,000 this one here is 29 at NASDAQ today 1680 it was done before 11 o'clock and we didn't want to rerun again so we let it go the gold on the precision auto trade this is the only uh, gold chart we have and as you see uh, the first trade was eight o'clock and it was done 1000 nice and easy today even if you follow us on the other channel you will see uh, that uh, today we didn't have to say anything the market the way is it was moving uh, very pleasant and we didn't have to uh, work uh, just look at the auto trade that's nice one of those days when you just look at your auto trade you don't have to think and today it was one of them uh, CL on the five minutes also did uh, tw uh, 12 uh, 40 and then uh, we have uh, the 10 second is my favorite uh, chart for the beginners and then as you notice uh, also we were running this in the room and it was uh, 2100 on this one here it is uh, the uh, the DAC, the nasdaq and then we have the ES 25 second, the 10 second and the 25 second. I really, I really like it for the beginners because they cannot understand a trend sometimes or they don't. So the 10 second or the higher time frame, but not in between. Either pu putting them on a high time frame, avoiding all the noises in the market, or give him a small target and let's say two, three hundred dollars a day and he can uh, take one contract and uh, he can go ahead on a smaller high time frame it depends from one trader to another what they like what they want to do how much risk they want to take in the market uh, on the YM also this one here it is uh, 2100 every single chart today uh, made the target uh, the YM five minutes uh, 1790 I love that DAX trade. Uh, it took that trade. Look at this. Boom. Reverse. 3,700. Uh, the ES is 5 range. Uh, it's been doing very well, the range. Uh, the 1125. Uh, the CL22nd, if you want to use a smaller time frame. Also, lately, I'm, you know, especially right now in August, because the market is not going to move, I think I will stick with the seconds. And this is a lovely chart. One, two, fourteen, sixty has out traded every single professional trader. I'm not a Russell trader, but here's a trader. Uh, neither the YM. I'm not very key, but lately the YM has been running very well. Uh, Twenty-seven on the Russell. Uh, on the CL, it is uh, uh, twenty-six hundred. So on the uh, uh, ES three minutes, 
also the ES three minutes. It is. Um, this is a. It was running in the room, I believe. This one here, sixteen, uh, on the other channel. Uh, the CL is a 2370 uh, and thus was a beautiful trade on the CL12 range. Look at this beauty. One and two. And it was, this one here was running on the uh, live channel, on the other channel. And uh, we were done by 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, yes. And then we have the YM, two minutes. If you want to scalp the market, this is a YM. This is one auto trade. I want to show you the TI7 for Ninja Trader 8. Before I show you the TI7 for Ninja Trader 8, as you notice now, the uh, the Fib line uh, just readjusted. Look at this. Uh, just readjusted uh, from the beginning of uh, the uh, the video when we I told you you can go ahead and secure some of the profit and now once the trend stop two come into this area it's gonna re adjust adjust it for you automatically so now just readjusted the first trailing stop and look at this and you can see right now they start going separately from each other because this one here once it comes in where you put it to secure some of your profit and uh, you will see it's going to readjust it and start dragging uh, this trailing stop for you. From where we started uh, early this video, we had like around 300 ticks and now we have double up the ticks. This is the last entry signal and now we are around 600 ticks into the profit uh, based on one contract. And as we see here, look at this. Now the trailing stop readjusting itself and, and uh, it's gonna go ahead and uh, keep going. And once the fib line, let's say, come in here, uh, the chart readjusted itself to where is the fib line as a resistance. And then uh, the way you're auto trading here is you're trading fibs strictly fibs and like the other one i forgot to show you also there is a cl here on the precision auto trade uh, and uh, this is an amazing one it's a six range uh, i forgot to show you this one here and uh, this one here like yesterday uh, we started with one losing trade winning trade winning trade winning trade hit 1000 uh, before 11 o'clock and it was over simple nice i mean if you right a click and you want to uh, go for one more round because the market today is running uh, it's very simple what you do you just go ahead and you right a click and now you rearm it again this one here is just recalculated it's gonna go away this red uh, it's just adjusting and now it will, it will go away and then we'll start all the historical trade is gone and now when the market start moving again uh, this red is gonna go away we're gonna leave it for a second and we will see it's gonna go away i want to cover uh, today our uh, best trade uh, for today uh, it was at the DAX and uh, we were running uh, the DAX uh, on the other channel live and uh, here it is and it was the best trade for today and uh, if you notice on this one here this one here it was okay break even but when the market earlier today was sideways 
and no trade and the auto trade did not bother to take any trade in here and what is beauty about it predicted you see how avoided all this area here and when he had the confirmation for short he took the short and exit at the right spot and it was 10,162 if you go to the other channel it was 12,000 around here and when the auto trade going back uh, did uh, uh, 10,000 on this one here the reason is taking a little bit longer because it's a 12 a 6 range and uh, the this bar has not closed and it's not gonna take a trade uh, and that is uh, just calculation is going to disappear this yellow here and because it's gonna reset it's reset it and and uh, that's how it is so start all over again and we'll keep it show it to you when it's done so now we let's look at the uh, TI7 so uh, this is our best trade for today Uh, before we talk about the TI7, as you see, when you reset the precision auto trade, it required for a bar to close, to to let all, everything disappear from the chart. And once the bar close, as you see, there is no more historical trade. Oh, there is here from uh, different days, but. Uh, right now is set up and it's ready to take a trade so we are using the latest technology the latest of the latest plus we have added some stuff from our programming to the auto trades and uh, we have uh, top uh, two best programmers i ever seen in my career and we have both uh, and uh, and I'm glad to work with them. Uh, anyway, um, here is uh, the, we also, on the TI-7, we had one open position uh, left, and here we still have one chart uh, left on the uh, TI-7 for Ninja Trader 8. And, uh, and if you want to, what you can do, uh, you can use that button and close it and this is it it is done uh, we have the uh, YM we have the gold uh, on the TI7 we use uh, for some reason on the on the on the TI7 is a different uh, time frame and uh, we only have the gold chart on the TI7 which is uh, in two minutes uh, and it works on two minutes because here is a different entries different filters but also is a very stable very consistent uh, the one minute I'm proud of my one minutes charts and uh, 1500 and as you see here this is really important when you have an auto trade works on one minute works on anything and uh, it took the trade uh, around uh, 947 and and you were done by 10 10 30 1500 so this is less than one hour work and uh, when you do your homework, you learn how to auto trade. You put your time in it seriously, not just uh, as an amateur trader. You know how to control those auto trades. Uh, there is nothing better than that uh, to, uh, it is hard at the beginning. It is hard. I'm not gonna say it's piece of cake, but once you start learning the rhythm of the market, and uh, you start know your borders, how your auto trades work, 
under stress, then you uh, you start enjoying auto trade. And uh, this one here, Russell. But if you just want to auto trade blindly, your your chances without any education, your chances are very slim. And uh, on any kind of auto trade, I'm not talking about my auto trades. Uh, the and uh, here it is. I mean, we give a free education, and the rest is up to you. You know. Uh, so, why saying no to free education can help you improve your life? So, if a guy refuses to learn, then it's his problem, not ours. You see. So the, here is the Nasdaq four minutes scalping. And uh, this is the NASDAQ uh, 25 and 49 second CL scalping, one minute ES, CL 2000. On a 13 range, he has three minutes. This one here was in the other channel today, live. And then uh, the ES on the two minutes. It's not the PNL, guys. It's the way how the auto trade took the trades. It's not about the PNL. The ES five. Uh, so it's about how this auto trade taking a trade and this is a 12 range 8 range beautiful the gold 1800 one entry we were done by 1020 Russell 1290. The DAX we talked about it is uh, uh, 10,000 euro, 1,000 ES, one minute. And this is a different uh, entries, but this is uh, same auto trade. And uh, the ES, 1,000 even. All of them, they are on 1,000. Uh, target uh, 300 beautiful the way it took those trades again it's not about the PNL it's about how this auto trades taking the trades in the right time then ES 455 CL9 range beautiful and uh, we were done by 11.35. And then, uh, he asked one minute, different entries, different template, 1,150. And then the DAX, two minutes, scalping. And the YM, 1,600. If you remember uh, from uh, the <laughs> I messed it up this one here now it is on the left if you remember what we have done uh, on the uh, on the to 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 move the trend stop and look what happened readjusted by itself and now those are your fib line so when you want to take a profit or you want to take the needle down to secure some of your profit and uh, and uh, the, the, the auto trade uh, adjusted for you. Uh, last is about the, uh, the down zone stocks. Uh, today the, the, the Home Depot sell position uh, did very well. BA, uh, all of them, uh, they are to the downside you know and that's why the futures they are to the downside so it was a heavy sell off today and that's what happened 
Uh, folks, I want to say thank you very much for today. Uh, we will be taking a little break, uh, summer break, and uh, we will. Uh, everything is functioning. Uh, if you have a problem with your license, they still twenty four seven a new installation new customers uh, questions uh, they all everything working but uh, uh, right now we will be taking a summer break a little bit from the webinars uh, private webinars to our members uh, we will not hold uh, webinars uh, for the next few days because it's a summer holiday and uh, we will be back on a full throttle I wish everyone a really happy holidays and if uh, somebody have a problem with licensing installation uh, new activation new customers uh, we are online to give you what you need we're not to just uh, so there is a full support activation uh, new licensing new customers uh, they are working, but uh, to be on a YouTube every day, we're taking a summer time off. Thank you very much, and I uh, wish everyone safe and happy summer. Thank you very much, and God bless you all.